Welcome to the Smart Centre demonstration on the use of a user-controlled powered wheelchair. If you wear glasses for distance, these should be worn at all times when using a powered wheelchair. You should be aware of different surfaces and slopes before using the wheelchair for the first time. A demonstration on how to negotiate surfaces, slopes and curbs will be provided later in the video. You should always keep yourself safe and be aware of other people around you. The wheelchair will come with a lap strap fitted as standard and can be used if required. Control of joystick the joystick enables a user to drive the powered wheelchair, controlling both speed and direction. The speed of the powered wheelchair will vary depending on the level of speed selected on the controller and the joystick movement. To increase the speed on the controller, press the button with the hair on it. To reduce the speed, press the button with the tortoise on it. Some controllers may be slightly different and may have a knob which can be adjusted to set the speed. The direction the wheelchair travels varies according to the direction of joystick movement. When driving on a flat surface, the speed of the wheelchair varies according to the amount of joystick movement. Starting for the first time. Switch the wheelchair on. Check the speed the wheelchair is set at prior to moving. Then looking forwards, gently push the joystick very slightly forward. You will hear a loud click as the brakes disengage. Push the joystick slightly further and the wheelchair will begin to drive forward. Move hands slowly to change direction and speed, avoiding rapid joystick movements as this will result in rapid changes in speed and direction. Slowing and stopping. The wheelchair will slow down as the joystick movement is reduced and will stop when the joystick is allowed to return to its middle position. The wheelchair has stopped on hearing the click as the brakes re-engage. In the event of an emergency, let go of the joystick and the wheelchair will come to an immediate stop. Negotiating curbs Cross roads at a pedestrian crossing or, if there is no pedestrian crossing, cross where there are dropped curbs. If the wheelchair is fitted with a curb climber, then the wheelchair is capable of climbing curbs. Always approach curbs straight on, not at an angle. Driving up over a curb. Approach the curb straight on. Shortly before the front wheels or curb climber touch the curb, increase the speed and reduce only after the rear wheels have climbed the curb. Driving off a curb. The wheelchair should be reversed very slowly when driving from the pavement and dropping down a curb onto the road surface. Firstly, manoeuvre the wheelchair so it points away from the road and the back wheels line up with the kerb. When you are sure it is safe to cross, gently move the joystick into reverse. When the back wheels drop down off the kerb, continue in a straight line until the front wheels also come off the kerb.
charging the battery. Powered wheelchair batteries have a good capacity, which will last a whole day under normal conditions. This will vary depending on a number of factors, including speed, distance, slopes and model of chair. The battery can be plugged into a normal electrical socket and left to charge overnight. Disengaging the motor To disengage the motor from the wheels, turn both handles so they are pointing outwards. This will disengage the motor and will allow the wheels to move freely. To re-engage the motor, turn the handles so they are facing backwards. The handles may vary on different models of powered wheelchairs. Remember, for safety, the powered wheelchair should be switched off whenever you are getting into or out of it, and when it is not being driven. Always check the powered wheelchair speed setting before moving off. Avoid large or rapid movements of the joystick when driving the powered wheelchair. If you get into difficulty, just let go of the joystick and the powered wheelchair will come to an immediate stop. Always approach curb straight on, not at an angle. Please be aware that your powered wheelchair may drive differently if you are on uneven or soft ground driving over cambers or slopes, or if you are not sitting centrally within it.